What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. Let's continue our discussion about circuiting in our Revit Fire Alarm Systems design. So this time around, I'm going to show you how to edit the circuits in our project as well as just simply renaming your load. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to this uh, portion here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add here a fire alarm device. So let's say, for example, this is the device that I would like to be added here. And then I want that to be added as well to this circuit. So like, for example, if I select this one and then check my system browser, I go to fire alarm. Okay, I expand this one. So I will know that this particular element is part of circuit number one okay so which is this one right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this uh, fire alarm device this fire alarm horn strobe wall mounted here so let's say i want to add it here and then i want that to be added to circuit number one okay so another way of checking out what is the circuit number of your uh, circuit is by selecting your element so aside from looking at the system browser, you can also go to the properties. And then here you can see the circuit number as well as the panel where it is assigned. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to select this uh, horn strobe. And then I'm going to right click and then I can select create similar. I select that one and then I'm going to put it here. Again, you can always change the elevation before you place it or after you place it. Okay, so just make sure the placement here is placed on vertical face. So I'm going to place it here. There you go. And then I select here, modify. Now, what I'm going to do is I want this to be added to this circuit here. Okay, remember if you press tab, you hover your pointer to one of the device and then you press tab. Okay, when you click that, it will tell you where is the panel. So, I want this to be added or to be connected to fire alarm control panel 01. So, to make it simple, I want this to be added to the circuit. So, to do that, I just need to select one of the fire alarm device here. For example, I'm going to click this. And then, as you can see, there is a contextual tab here. Contextual tab which is electrical circuits. Okay, so electrical circuits. And then aside from that, you can see the system tools here. It says edit circuit. Okay, so there's an edit circuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the edit circuit. There you go. And then add the circuit is now selected by default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. So check out the number of elements here. It says 4. So I'm going to select that one. Now it says 5. Okay, I don't know if I can use the remove from circuit here. So let me use remove from circuit. Let me try this one. So I select that and then I'm going to click this and there you go. I am able to remove this element to the circuit. So now it says 4. Okay, so I'm going to select your finish editing circuit. So if I'm going to select this, no more circuit and panel assigned to this one because I already removed that to the circuit. Okay, so it's that simple if you want to add or remove an element to the circuit. So that's how you do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. So this is already part of the system. So as you can see, it's now part of the circuit number one assigned to FACP01. So I'm going to select the contextual tab, electric electrical circuits, edit circuit, make sure add the circuit is selected, and then let's add our uh, device here. So I'm going to select this speaker, and there you go. So the total now is five. I'm now going to select your finish, and there you go. So if I select this um, strobe horn, and then check the system browser. Notice that it's now added here on our MACP01 circuit one. Okay, so that's how you add. So let's say you want to create a wire here. 
you have an option if you want to make it uh, manual like you go to the systems tab and then you go to the wire and then you can create arc wire spline wire or chompered wire so you can do that or of course you can hover your pointer press tab and then you click as you can see there's a preview here of our wire so you have an option if you want to create a chompered wire or arc wire so let's say I'll just select your arc wire so just click that one and there you go so it's now added okay so let me redo the process so let's say um, in this room I want to add here another strobe horn okay so I'm going to select that right click and then create similar so let's say I want to uh, put it somewhere here so I'm going to select and then select your modify and also you will notice if I select this like what I have said last time by default if your element is not part of a system or a circuit it will be placed under the unassigned category here or unassigned system so if you expand that you expand the electrical expand the fire alarm I can see here that I have other uh, devices here or panels that is not completely assigned to a circuit okay including the one that we just placed the horns horn strobe so again same procedure what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to select one of the device and then let's go to the electrical circuits contextual tab and then there is an option here edit circuit so select that one again by default add to circuit is selected so I can now click this to add to the circuit there you go and then I just finish editing circuit okay so now to add a wire here so let us uh, I'm just going to delete this first this wire so I can just simply select and delete that so I'm going to hover my pointer and then press tab and then I will click to show the preview of the wire and then aside from selecting from here I can also click this icon okay okay so I'm going to select this now and there you go okay of course you can select your home run here if you want so you can put it here you can put it here so it's up it's up to you it's okay how do you want to make it look like okay there you go okay so now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how to change the name of a electrical load so let's say for example in this portion I have the hold open device so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hover my pointer press tab tab to select the circuit number one so I'm going to select that so as you can see here the load name is fire alarm space 4 okay so if you want to change that okay so you just need to select and then you can just specify the name okay you cannot change the name here on the system browser so if I select this one so it says here so this is now the name actually so you cannot change that uh, name here so what you can do is just select the circuit okay so hover your pointer press tab and then tap again to select the circuit and then you go to the properties and then you can change here okay so you can specify the load name so let's say this is my uh, hold open door area okay and then after that you just need to select apply okay all right so basically that's how you edit the circuits in uh, Revit 2020 if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.